Hi, welcome to Gray Horse Yoga. I'm Gina. So today I want to introduce you to a vinyasa, which is a flow of yoga poses that is intended to help warm up the body. So I think this is really beneficial for equestrians because warming up ourselves is as important as warming up our horses. So this again is just a sequence of poses that you do with a breath. You can do them as quickly or as slowly as you want. We're going to go through at a fairly moderate pace today, but I'm going to introduce the child salutation and the sun salutation. Again, both of these are great for warming up the spine, a lot of flexion and extension, forward bends and back bends, but also adding in some poses for the hips with some lunges and some core strength um, with some plank positions. So we're gonna do a little warm up on the mat and then come up to standing and go through our salutations. So starting on all fours in table pose. So have your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Find a nice neutral position for the spine. So the crown of the head is extending forward. The sit bones are reaching back. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale, just really filling the body with the breath. And as you take your next inhale, send the sit bones back, lengthen the front of the body, take the gaze gently forward and up. And then as you exhale, round the spine, draw the belly in and take the gaze towards the belly button. So this starts with just some simple flexion and extension of the spine. So inhaling and exhale. And we'll do that a few more times again. Again, this is a vinyasa already, a flow with the breath, inhaling into our cow pose and exhale and rounding the spine into cat pose. Good, one more time, inhale and exhale. And this time, inhale, come back to that table pose once again, find that nice length through the crown of the head, that nice length in the spine. And then as you exhale this time, round the spine and fold all the way back into a child pose hips towards the heels forehead towards the mat if your forehead doesn't come all the way down you can make fists with the hands letting the hands rest or head rest on the hands you can also if you have a yoga block or a stack of books you can use that again to support you a little bit in this child pose so this is a great stretch for the lower back Again, take a few breaths really breathing into the back of the body Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And then as you take your next inhale, bring the hands back out in front. If you were using them to support the head, come back up to table pose and then bring the hands in front of the shoulders. So really important that we have alignment, straight alignment from the shoulder all the way down to the middle finger so that our hands aren't too close or too far apart. So lined up with the shoulders. Curl the toes under, lift the knees a couple inches off the mat, really engage the core muscles right below the belly button, draw that lower belly in and up, and then send your sit bones up and back. Come to a bent knee downward facing dog. So stay on the toes, knees bent, nice length in your spine. Inhale and exhale, and then slowly begin to pedal the feet. And as you pedal your feet, walk your feet towards your hands. So bend your knees as much as you need to. Come to a standing forward bend. So the knees are bent. You can take hold of opposite elbows here with the crown of the head dangle down. Big breath in to the length of the spine and a big breath out. And then very gently bring the hands to the hinge of the hip, press into the feet, lengthen through the crown of the head, draw the shoulders back and come up with a nice flat back coming all the way up to standing. Once you come up to standing, just do a little roll of the shoulders. So we're going to start our flow our vinyasa so the first one we're going to do is a child salutation so come to the top of your mat coming into mountain pose so the feet are hip distance apart think of the sternum lifting feel the energy right up through the crown of the head let the hands come down by your side so make sure you're not leaning too far forward or too far back again find that nice alignment vertical alignment just like you would have in the saddle for the spine and then inhale float the arms up Bring the palms together, taking the gaze up. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Let the knees bend, fold all the way down to that forward bend with the crown of the head reach down towards the mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to. 
Inhale, come halfway up with a nice flat back, lengthen through the crown of the head. And then exhale, bend the knees again, bring both hands down to the mat, take a big step back with the right leg, lower the right knee to the floor and curl the toes. Make sure the left heel is under the knee, come up to a lunge. So press into both feet, think of drawing left hip back, right hip forward, inhale, float the arms up and overhead, pause here for a breath, find that energy in the body, inhale, and exhale. Another inhale, and this time as you exhale, bring both hands down to the mat, step the left leg back to meet the right, so we're back in that table pose, exhale, round the spine, fold back to child pose, hips towards the heels, forehead to the mat, and again, you can support yourself here with hands or again, a yoga block or stack of books under the forehead, and then inhale, press up to your table pose, Continue to lengthen the front of the body. Take the gaze up into that cow pose. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, come back to table pose. Make sure the wrists are right underneath the shoulders. Extend the right leg back, press through the heel. Bring the left leg back to meet the right. Come to an upper push-up position. So lengthen through the crown of the head. Make sure the hips don't sag down. Think of drawing that lower belly in and up. And then another inhale, as you exhale, draw lower belly in and up, sit bones up and back, come to downward facing dog. So you can keep the knees bent as we did the, the first time, or you can straighten the legs, whatever feels good for you, but take a breath. Inhale and exhale. And then pedaling the feet once again, bending the knees, walk the feet up to the hands, come back to that standing forward bend. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way down, float the arms up to the side, coming all the way up, palms together. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart, take a breath, inhale, and exhale. So we'll take that child salutation on the second side. So inhale, float the arms up, palms touch, exhale, folding all the way down again, letting the knees bend, find that standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway up, so nice flat back here, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, bend the knees, fold all the way back down, fingertips to the mat. So this time, step back with the left leg into your lunge. So left leg steps back, left knee lowers to the floor. Make sure the right heel is underneath the right knee as you come up. Inhale, float the arms up and overhead. Pause here for a breath. Nice flexion for this right hip extension for the left quadricep muscle, front of the thigh. Exhale, bring both hands back down to the mat, step the right leg back beside the left. Exhale, round your spine and fold back to child pose. So take a breath here, inhale. And exhale, get a nice stretch for that lower back. And then inhale back up to your table pose, lengthen the front of the body, taking the gaze up. Exhale, round the spine into that cat pose. Inhale back to your table pose, flat back. And now extend the left leg back and the right leg back. Come to that plank pose. Inhale and exhale. And then drawing lower belly in and up, sit bones up and back. Come to your downward facing dog. And again, you can keep the knees bent or straighten the legs. Make sure you have hands at least shoulders distance apart. Press into the fingertips to help take the weight out of the wrists. Inhale and exhale. And then once again, pedaling the feet, walk the feet towards the hands, tiny little steps, bend those knees back to that standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down, float the arms up to the side again, coming all the way up. Palms together, exhale the hands to the heart. Again, take a breath here, inhale and exhale. So our sun salutation, similar but a little bit different. We're gonna add a um, a little bit more of a back bend in this position, in this flow. So inhale, float the arms up, palms together, exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway up, nice flat back. Exhale, both hands down to the mat. This time, step right back to plank pose. So right leg steps back and left leg steps back. Make sure your wrists are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. You can always drop your knees down to the mat for a little bit more support in your plank pose. Inhale and exhale. Get another breath here. Inhale and exhale. Now bring the knees down to the mat 
And you can do this next variation with either the toes to the floor or you can pick the feet up. I like to pick the feet up here. So take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, bend your elbows back towards your hips, lower all the way down onto your belly. Once you come onto your belly, if you have the knees lifted, bring the feet back to the floor, press into the tops of the feet, hands beside the chest, hug the elbows in, forehead to the mat, inhale, lift the forehead, lift the upper chest, come into a low cobra. So we're not pushing up with the hands, we're lifting up with the back of the body, strengthening back of the body. Exhale, lower the forehead back down, curl the toes under, press into the hands, come up to your table pose and then send your sit bones up and back, downward facing dog. Again, knees can be bent or legs stay straight. Take a breath here, inhale and exhale. So option to pedal the feet and walk the feet towards the hands as we did the first two times or a look towards your hands, take a big step with the right leg and the left leg, come back to that standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way down, float the arms up to the side, coming all the way up, palms together. Exhale, the hands to the heart, take a breath, inhale. And exhale, inhale, float the arms up. Palms touch, exhale, fold all the way down with the knees bend. Inhale, halfway up, again, nice flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, both hands to the mat. Now step back to your plank pose with the left leg leading first this time. So left leg steps back and the right leg steps back. Again, find that core position here. Really hug the ribs up and in towards the back of the body. Think of drawing the lower belly in and up. Find that nice strength, press the palms into the mat. Think of pressing the mat away from you and then bringing the knees down. Again, toes can stay down to the mat or feet lifted, bending the elbows slowly, lower yourself all the way down to your belly and then extend the legs, press into the feet, hands beside the chest, inhale, lifting up again, low cobra. Exhale, let the head release down, curl the toes under, press into the hands to table pose and sit bones up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. And then once again, as you come to standing, you can pedal the feet, walk the feet towards the hands or looking towards the hands, big step forward, left leg and right leg standing forward, bend. Inhale, halfway up. Nice flat back, find that core strength. Exhale, fold all the way down, float the arms up to the side again, coming all the way up, palms together. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart, take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Then let the eyes close for a moment. A couple more breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. Just notice how your body feels. Notice if you feel a little warmth in the body from the energy moving through the body. Inhale and exhale. And very gently let the eyes open. So that is our little pose sequence for the week. So again, our child salutations and sun salutations, which are a vinyasa, a series of poses linked with the breath. And again, that does not have to be fast moving. As you notice, we held some of the poses for a couple breaths. Some of them we worked, you know, from inhale to exhale. So again, it's a great warm up for equestrians, really warms up the muscles in the body, gets that flexion and extension of the spine, again, with a little core work and a little hips thrown in. So hopefully that will help you in your riding. And I hope to see you again soon, either in the saddle or on the mat. Thanks. Bye-bye. Have a great day.